Well, it seems like a lot of people's worst nightmares have come true. I have the capability to finally produce video blogs. I guess that's what they're called. Vlogs with a V. Uh, uh, it just gives me the opportunity to reflect on many great stories I have over the past decade. Uh, stuff that I've, I've tried to write about and it, there's just not enough space or I, I always forget something, I have to go back and edit and it's just easier to talk as opposed to writing. Uh, and of course, as you could probably tell, uh, these, these stories are all road trips uh, with my friends uh, just you know going to different shows all over the state uh, for the past couple of years and now that, now, now that that life has slowed down somewhat it's 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 getting harder to, to look back and remember a bunch of stuff so I'd like to have some kind of documentation on on uh, things that have happened uh, we started doing road trips in 2000, 2006, and uh, and up until 2010, really, we were we were going everywhere, mostly to Marshall out in East Texas. We we went up and down I-20 hundreds of times, but San Antonio, Houston, Corpus Christi. Uh, Sulphur Springs, Lufkin, uh, Monroe, Louisiana, and and this isn't just going to be for road trips. It's also uh, uh, just my stories on every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, in Arlington with PCW and how great that was. Anybody who knows me knows that I pretty much compare any I compare anything to PCW because that was like the standard. That was the the mecca <laughs> for a long time. Uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to sharing stories on, on, on why I've done the things that I do. And it, maybe some things that nobody really knows about. It's it's just easier to talk as opposed to writing uh, and typing and having to think and you know because I think faster than than my keys will you know click letters and make words and sentences and paragraphs. So hopefully this will be the first of many. And uh, for anybody who's interested enough or bored enough to listen to what I have to say, it's it's. It's not gospel, it's not preachy, these are just my opinions and stories that are very important to me. Uh, you know, my biography is never going to sell and make a dime, but I like to think that I, I have so much experience in what I've done that it, it, I'd like to share that with people and hopefully give something back to help other people that, you know, shared the passion that I used to have about what I do. Um, I uh, I never wanted to be a wrestler. I never had the athletic ability. I tried high school wrestling um, in 2001, my freshman year of high school. Uh, I quit after a semester. It just wasn't what I wanted. Uh, I just I wasn't dedicated. I had no interest. Um, little known fact. Uh, also on my high school wrestling team was uh, Aaron Eagle. He ended up being a PCW champion. Yeah, and so that was fun to watch him grow up literally and, and, and see what he would turn into. Um, so I, I never wanted to be a wrestler. I never wanted to, to do any of that. I always wanted to be a manager or a announcer. I wanted to be the vocal part of it. I, I just wanted to be involved somehow. I, I can't pinpoint when I wanted to, but I guess it would probably have been when I learned about PCW because that was a local a local place within like you know ten miles of of where I was. So I was 
watching them on UPN and I love the product. I, I watched it every Saturday morning with uh, when Battle Dome was on right after it and then it switched to Saturday nights and they were bouncing back and forth and they had Sabu and Ahmed Johnson and you know that was legit to me so I I, had, I have never been to an indie wrestling show before that uh, NWA Southwest I never went to any of those uh, TCW which was uh, XCW before that I never went to any of those so uh, my first night at PCW was the first ever indie show I had ever been to period I, I've never uh, been to PCW as just a fan but my first night there I was uh, doing security and I remember that whole week very well I, uh, I emailed the PCW website and asked how I could help out and I got a a response from Michael Busey or that's how I thought I said his name it was Michael Bussey and I had no idea who this guy was but he said I could come up to the gym during the week and they'd show me around and you know maybe I could help out doing something so I went up to the gym that week and I met Thomas Bussey and uh, I went up there with my grandpa and we went to the gym in the back and uh, Chris Chronic was there working out and he asked uh, if he could help me and I, was, I told him that I, uh, I was there to see, see Thomas and I had no idea who Thomas Bussy was at the time I had no idea who anybody other than the wrestlers were and so I went I went through the back and I went through this curtain up like two or three stairs and yeah through a curtain and, and I look around and I see the ring right in front of me and uh, I'm like wow this is this is huge this is awesome Where, where's the entrance ramp and uh, then I realized that I was standing on the entrance and it was amazing. I just I thought that they tore it down every week or something. And to realize that I was standing on the the PCW entrance way, you know, and this was like a Tuesday, uh, right after their Sick and Twisted show, September of 2002. And uh, the following week was going to be a really big show. It was Paul London's last PCW show. Uh, Sabu was there. It was just it was an insane night. And uh, they offered me a, a spot to do event staff, hold the guardrails when the wrestlers were at ringside, uh, you know, sweep the sweep the arena after the after the show, set up chairs before the show, yeah, uh, keep the fans back basically. And 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 I did that for I did event staff for two years, from 2002 to 2004 almost exactly two years every Friday and Saturday night just uh, with the goal in mind that I was going to be a manager one day I was going to be an announcer one day and uh, I knew that I knew that in, in 2002 and I take great pride in, in knowing that out of the people that I did event staff with when I started I was really the only one at that time to to get on the show in any capacity and, and I take great pride in knowing that and the people who started doing event stuff after me you know the trainees in the school you know they uh, they also made it onto the show but I was very proud to know that I was one of the first ones to do that and that that's where I'm going to begin my next uh, my, my next piece is uh, my early memories of, of 2002 and the triple Xmas incident with me getting my head busted open Christmas Eve Eve of 2002 so that'll do it for this initial episode I'm really looking forward on reflecting I already feel really good about about these stories so hopefully you will too and uh, I'm looking forward to to opening up a little bit more, get some stories out there. Alright.